Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> My voice is raspy. How are you all doing? I just washed my face and yes my ring uh, no, it's not a ring my nose stud is missing because yesterday actually not yesterday the day before when I was showering for some unknown reason it never comes out literally never um, I think my nail got stuck and it got pulled and it went down the drain and surprisingly i don't have any backup of it so i didn't have any nose um like, what is it called stud yeah i didn't have any stud for the past two days and it's been so weird because i literally feel naked i had it for probably 16 years now 16 years i got it pierced when i was in high school and um if you guys don't know i went to high school in iran and these things over there is like forbidden so every day when i would go to school i would take it out come back home and put it back in until my 18th birthday which was like the end of actually 17th um which was the end of the school for me um i ever since then i had it every single day there's something in my eye but yeah anyway it's a very upsetting moment um i ordered some from amazon for like an urgent matter situation it comes in a pack of i think 20. that will hopefully arrive today but i've ordered a um, real gold one from etsy i usually get mine from this kiosk in like nearby my house but um like glendale in the kiosk is inside glendale galleria which is like a mall here but um that kiosk is nowhere to be found so sadly i don't have any backup of it and i can't go to that person to buy it i don't even have their business card or anything like that so um yeah uh, i'm gonna apply my skincare while i'm chatting to you guys i'm gonna apply the um summer friday uh, vitamin c serum i just washed my face i have not done my skincare yet um i ordered it from um etsy from this random shop i don't even know the reviews were good and it's the real gold and i prefer it to be real gold because it creates mark this mark that i have is because for years i didn't put real gold on it and it um left a mark behind basically so yeah it feels very very weird not to have my nose ring but hopefully today the ones I order will arrive and I will put that in until my Etsy one um, arrives. The Etsy one will arrive, I think, in a week or so. But yeah. Um, one thing with vitamin C, I've recently learned that you have to let it completely sink in and then apply any kind of uh, moisturizer on top. I didn't know that. I thought, I knew that this is the first item that needs to go into your skin because if you put something else on your skin and then put this on top of it, it's not going to work. This has to be the basically only product on your skin for it to absorb better and work better. But I recently learned that you're supposed to leave it on for like a minute or so and then go in with your moisturizer. Um, but yeah, while I'm waiting for that minute, I'm going to talk to you guys about the Summer Friday Cloud Dewy Oil-Free Gel Cream. I have been obsessed with this. I received this in PR in December before it launches and I had to keep it a secret. And I got comments from so many people on my Instagram story that my skin looks really good. And I was like, if you guys only knew, it's due to this moisturizer. I mean, my skin is, thank God, doing so much better compared to like a year ago. I feel like I finally have products that i absolutely love and like i know they work for my skin um but this every single time that i wear this which it's been almost every single day because when i start trying new product i don't start using it every single day i go once or twice a week then three to four times a week and then every day because i have very sensitive skin and i don't want to shock my skin um if you have a sensitive skin you can try this out and see if the technique works for you that's why it takes me an entire month to give a review on a product 
but yeah um recently i've been using this every single day and I absolutely love 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 it um every, when i use this product on my skin um everybody keeps telling me that my skin looks glowy it looks healthy it looks hydrated um but yeah absolutely love 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 that this is my current morning routine skincare wise and so basically my morning routine is completely summer friday which is fabulous because i love supporting other influencers and i love it when i actually really love their products i'm going to do my makeup um and then after i'm ready for the day uh, i am going to show you guys the dear product that i got i showed a little sneak peek of it on my um, instagram stories and so many of you guys messaged me that oh my god please unbox it we can't wait to see what you got from dior um so many people already guessed that it's a shoe i was like you guys know me so well uh, but what shoe it is which probably most of you will guess it because it's such a me shoe um, if there was a shoe that had my name on it it would be this the color the style everything about it is just perfection but yeah i'm gonna do my makeup get ready for the day because i have a few meetings that i need to get to and then i want to actually go and take a picture of this h m um what do you call it um neat skirt and neat sweater it's so cute it's white i actually haven't tried it on i hope it fits nicely but i want to go take a picture of that and yeah but before i go i'll for sure show you guys the shoe and while i'm getting ready i'm gonna listen to the skinny confidential podcast i'm listening to the episode uh with um lisa vanderpump the beverly hills real husband of beverly hills lisa and i love i know i said this 100 million times when i say this again i love the skinny confidential him and her podcast because they have such a different kind of guests on their show that you get the taste of best world like they have they talk about skincare finances politics like everything business um how to save money how to manage your mental health like everything that's why i really like their podcast and um, some of their podcasts are super fun some of them are a little bit serious um they even had like sex workers coming to their podcast which i think it needs to be like that like we need to hear every single person's opinion and what thing that i majorly love about them is that they don't shy away from topics that make other people uncomfortable so yeah i'm gonna listen to this podcast while i'm getting ready here's my part i talk about my mom in this episode i know her restaurants in la pump sir villa rose she does it all i am but my nose piercing arrived and i'm very happy about it it is silver it is not my favorite thing it came in a pack of 20 where did i put it i put it here so this is the pack that i went with because i just thought this will work better for me um, for emergencies like this but as i said i have ordered um one from etsy and one from amazon that are gold did i tell you guys about that or i didn't i don't know i ordered one from amazon that is a 14 karat one that is gonna arrive probably next week and i have one from etsy that is, that is a 24 karat one that is gonna arrive i think 
next week as well i'm not sure that's that i'm very happy with this temporary one i really like it i usually go for square diamonds i don't like round diamonds but like at this moment i'll take whatever i can get but yeah i will link that one for you guys in the description box below if you have a nose piercing and you just want one for backup um this is i think surgical still so it's still good for your skin if you don't want it to be the color gold and actual gold then i think this is a perfect way to go but yeah my nose piercing is here very happy about that great start to the day um i didn't expect it to arrive in the morning usually my amazon orders arrive at night but this one arrived in the morning why did i have the camera close to my face but yeah now let's get into my dior item i have it there on the coffee table so let's get into it it is a very miserable day like the weather is astronomically gray today um so i think i have to sit by the window if not it will be pretty dark let's get into the um unboxing of my dior item before i show you guys my dior item let me actually show you guys my otd in a little bit i want to go take a picture of this outfit because i absolutely love 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 this outfit it's like gorgeous so classy so sophisticated so wintry but i'm wearing this knit sweater from h&m i'm wearing my chanel barouche i'm actually wearing my chanel earrings as well it's a very chanel kind of uh, moment and i'm wearing this knit skirt from h&m as well i absolutely love it it's super soft super comfortable you can put your sweater on top of it but we all know how I feel about sweaters on top of skirts or jeans so that's why i tucked mine in and honestly i would have go size down on this because i have a lot of fabric here and again we all know how do i feel about extra fabric on these areas it's a very chic look and obviously with every kind of otd i have my sleepers they're just the part of the whole situation and my tan is extremely dark i don't know if he has noticed it or not but my tan is extremely extremely dark i think in my previous vlog i told you guys that i went a little bit heavy-handed with my tan um so my tan is a bit too dark and since i'm wearing white it shows even more um but honestly i'm very happy with it i haven't been this bronze in like months literally ever since summer probably um, but yeah, now without further ado, let's get into my Dior unboxing. Here is my Dior item. This is the card and like the receipts and stuff that it came in. But here it is. It is beautiful. Being honest, I have already opened this. You guys already know that. But we're gonna do the unboxing together for the second time because I couldn't wait and not open this literally. But I have already opened it and yeah very happy about it so here is how it comes um this beautiful gold thing is stunning uh, i don't know what am i gonna use it for but obviously i'll cherish it for the rest of my life um this is like the receipt and like the card that it comes in and there's a card here um that was basically for i don't know if i said it or not but this is one of my christmas gifts and there's a card here um, from the person that I received. It says, this is your year. Happy New Year. Which is very, very sweet. So it's there. And then the receipt. And what else is in here? There's a return form. There is the shipping label that I'm going to return with if I decided to return it. But yeah. Everything comes in here. Now let's get into this item. This is very exciting. You guys already know it's a pair of shoes, right? The card, the dust bag, which is beautiful. And then... And here they are. My fabulous, beautiful Dior heels. So... When I tell you guys there's a story behind this is, this is a story. So obviously I went with this style, this like textured nude color, obsessed with the color combination. You guys already know that nude and white is just such a perfection. And for a very long time I debated on going with the, with heel, which heel do I go with? Dior has a newer heel 
that is a block heel and you guys know how much i love block heels they're comfortable they're easy to walk in i can get the i like i can get more use out of it so i absolutely love that shoe um but the only reason that i didn't purchase that was the front of it it had a very awkward like square front that i just didn't like and i feel like these are more of a your classic kind of shoes then i decided to go for the flat one i was like debating should i go for a flat flat because it's very important for me to be able to get the use out of the money that i paid for um obviously your shoes are not the cheapest and um then i was like i don't wear as much flat shoes i usually go for a little bit of a heel um so that's why i didn't get the flat one because honestly i don't wear as much flats not like i would wear it like if i'm running errands and stuff but most of the times i don't go for like ballerina style flats um but they're beautiful like that's probably the third one on the list of my dior shoes that i want to buy and then obviously this is the long heel one and they have a shorter version of it there is something about the short version of it that i just do not like I don't like the heel of it i don't mind that it's shorter obviously i love that it's shorter the height is perfect because that's the shoe that i'm gonna get the most wear out of it it's obviously gonna be so much more comfortable compared to this it's just gonna work better for my wardrobe and my liking but there is something about the heel of it obviously it has like this tilt um in the small one it just cuts off here and i don't know i just couldn't decide if i go with that or the tall one i was like you know what let me just get the tall one and see how it is and um see how do i like it and then we'll go from there so that's why i put this in my wish list and i was like let me just let me just get it and i'll try it out so i got it as much as i absolutely love it but the height of it is not something that i can wear on a daily basis um and second is that i went with the wrong size i always have a um experience of designer shoes being narrow and smaller than regular sizes so i went a size big i usually wear eight and a half nine and i wear and i order the size of 40 which i think is size 10 and this is extremely big on me when i wear it this uh bits of it doesn't stay up uh, and as i'm walking this falls down so yeah and i didn't know i mean i didn't do enough research on it i didn't know they have this elastic on the side and second i have i don't have wide feet but like it's not the most narrow fit like medium fit and from the look of it i don't know why i thought this would be very narrow so i was like let me just size up in it so i don't regret it but anyway the sizing is wrong and also i now that i've tried this on um i regretted not buying the shorter version of it even though as i said i'm not absolutely obsessed with the heel of the other one but it's like a classic dior shoe and i want to be able to wear it probably i won't be able to wear this for a long period of time probably like a dinner out or something like that for a few hours uh, but I want to be able to wear my um, shoes more than just like a night out um, It is beautiful and I wish I could keep it But I know I'm not gonna get the wear out of it at this moment Maybe in the future when I get the shorter version and actually my second priority will be this um, And then actually my second priority is not this my second priority is the Dior sneakers I absolutely adore them. They're so chic and that's the sneaker that I can get on board with because you guys know I don't like wearing sneakers. It's just not my thing, but yeah um, I absolutely love 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 it. But as I said, I'm not gonna get the wear out of it That's why I'm gonna go ahead and exchange this It has the label on this side. It's just it. I can't tell you how beautiful it is um, so yeah, I'm just going to exchange this with a size smaller. I actually made an appointment to go into the Dior store and try it in the store because I don't want to just order it again and then if I'm not 100% about it, then send it back again. So that's why I just made an appointment at Dior store. They gave me an appointment three weeks from today. That's insane. Um, but yeah, they gave me an appointment to go in. So I'm going to go in and return this and try on the shorter version of it 
and um, but I will go with the same design I absolutely love this nude texture and I love the white and I love the very little like the Dior um, writing on it absolutely adore 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 it it can go with almost every single outfit in my wardrobe I had this shoe on my wish list for literally years and um, very very happy that finally I got it but yeah, here is the Dior unboxing finally. Obviously, when I go into the store, I will take you guys along with me. I am going to head out because I want to go take a picture of this outfit. So we're going to do that. And when I get back, uh, we're going to make a soup together because it's such a cloudy and like miserable day. that I feel like a good old chicken soup will be fantastic for this weather. So that's what I'm going to do. But for now, I'm just going to head out to... Do my photo shoot and my back will cook together i am just back from taking my picture and i actually changed it to cozy clothes because why not um that top is a little bit uncomfortable i have a hard time with like turtleneck sweaters um but yeah i switched into cozy clothes because i'm gonna get to work a little bit i have to write a blog post i have been actually very excited about writing blog posts and i'm ahead of the schedule by two weeks which is absolutely amazing but when i got home i have a delivery of an other shoe which i'm absolutely in love with so i just thought i'd show it to you guys i got it off of um Saks fifth avenue because i couldn't find it anywhere else and i saw the shoe on pinterest just randomly one day when i was browsing and um it was sold out everywhere and i was only able to find it on Saks fifth avenue and it was i think 50 or 60 percent off sale which is obviously amazing and here they are they're so pretty they are by I don't know how to pronounce this brand like I should know but I don't so I'm not gonna disrespect a brand like that I'm not gonna pronounce their brand I got this in size 9 which I made that mistake again because they're a little bit big on me but I looked online they have a size eight and a half, so I'm gonna just return them and get a size eight and a half. I don't know why I keep going for a bigger size um, but yeah oh it says on it oh this is the European size of it but on the box um it says size nine um so yeah i'm just gonna get the eight and a half of it because it's super cute i feel like this will be fabulous for during um spring and summer um and the picture it looks a little bit more nude i didn't think it's gonna be as pink it's like the mauve pink uh, but regardless it's gonna go with my wardrobe because it's a neutral color and i'm obviously obsessed with this pearls on top of it can you guys see it is it focusing it on it yeah there you go it's stunning and i love the front of it the heel is a pretty thin one it's not like a block heel but it's not as uncomfortable because it's like not too high um so yeah i just thought i'll show you guys the shoe unboxing as well since um i already showed you guys the dior one it's a shoe unboxing kind of day but yeah now i'm gonna get to work a little bit uh, finish up my blog post and edit a video for to go live tomorrow and then we're gonna make soup together Good afternoon everyone, I'm a little bit exhausted today, the workload has been a little bit too much, but all is good, I'm getting really really hungry, so I'm just gonna start making the chicken, not the chicken, making the soup, um, this is the recipe that I'm gonna follow, it is called, it's from salt and lavender, um, this is how, my screen is so dirty, um, this is basically how it looks, it is a lemon and orzo um, chicken soup. So I'm gonna start making, I'm gonna link this recipe for you guys in the description box below. I just put my chicken to cook because I think I told you guys before, I have a phobia of uncooked chicken, meat and fish. So I have to cook everything for literally hours. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna start chopping the vegetables and put everything in a pot and Hopefully it's gonna taste good because I'm very excited about this soup. All of a sudden it's super cold, so I'm in a mood for some good, uh, what do you call it, a soup. I've never um, tried any soup with orzo, it's my first time, but I'm like, I like chicken soup and I like orzo together. Probably it will be good, uh, but probably I'm not gonna put as much as they're saying. I think um, the recipe calls for a cup of it. Let's see how much does it say yeah it says one cup or so i'm gonna do half a cup because i feel like it would be too much so yeah let's start cooking because i'm really really hungry
at you all night trying to figure you out. I just want to make you smile. Hold your hand in my hand, looking at the sunset. Man, you're looking good tonight. I want to kiss you before the sun goes down. It's what you do. o'clock yet it's nearly five o'clock but i have decided to pour myself a glass of pinot noir why not um by the way i absolutely love this like wine cork replacement and this is a mark west pinot noir i would say this is sweeter than all the other pinot noirs and it's not as heavy so if pinot noir is a little bit heavy or like too bitter for you try this brand you're gonna love it absolutely love this Cheers, everybody. So good. Look how fit. It looks delicious. I'm just gonna leave it on the stove for like 30 minutes for it to like completely cook. Um, I don't know how long it takes to cook orzo. Like, I don't know. Anyway, I poured orzo in as well. And I actually went with an entire cup because half a cup was very little. So I went with an entire cup and one other thing, the recipe doesn't have any potatoes but I added potatoes because I just love potatoes in the soup. I'm really hoping um, this will be delicious because my entire family is depending on me making this soup. So let's hope it's actually tasty. I totally forgot to show you guys that I received the um, Chanel shower gel that I was telling you guys. If you guys remember during my um, unboxing for my Christmas gifts, I received the lotion of this. I didn't even know if they had a shower gel. Um, so I ordered it and it just arrived. Um, currently I'm using the um, Sol de Janeiro one. It smells beautiful. Let me grab it to show it to you guys. This is the one that I'm using right now. Absolutely love it. it smells beautiful. I um, match this with its body um, body cream, which you guys already know how much I love the Brazilian Bomb Bomb Cream. It's one of my absolute favorite ones. It just smells beautiful. Um, and I have noticed when I match my shower gel with my body lotion, um, as long as it is not too empowering, I just don't like like too much of a gardeny. I like rosy sweet scents, but I don't like them to be too grandma-ish if that's the way to put it <laughs> but anyway i have noticed when i match them it stays on my skin a lot longer uh, and sometimes i honestly don't even need to wear perfume um with this if you like obviously this has a very strong scent to it and when i don't want any perfume to be too empowering i mix it in with this Aaron one and it just smells beautiful for daytime and for nighttime I pair it with my Carolina Herrera one and it's just beautiful. Um, this perfume obviously goes with everything but when I wear this I try to not wear any strong uh, body lotions um, because I want this to be the center of all the attention. Uh, but yeah, I just received the shower gel so we're just gonna unbox it. Does it open like the lotion? Yeah. I can't smell it through this. Does this open? great it doesn't open oh i can't smell it from here it smells just like the lotion oh how beautiful and this is the lotion i have not they yet taken it out of the packaging because i didn't use it i was waiting for the shower gel to come 
um is it only me or you guys have this dilemma too that you usually finish up the lotion faster than the shower gel how is it like that i feel like i go very heavy handed on my lotions uh, but now i have the shower and the body wash that i can pair them together i'm just gonna wait my, until my um what do you call it the sol de, sol de janeiro am i saying that correctly the brazilian one <laughs> this one um until this one finishes then i'm gonna open that one and then i want to give you guys an update on the ring as well i decided to keep both of them sorry i put it here so um i ordered myself a size five because they didn't have the size um six of it so i ordered myself a size five which is a perfect fit for my ring finger why can't i find it oh it's here <laughs> So I decided to keep both of them because sometimes I like to wear it on this finger or the middle one and this is a size 7 that I got for Christmas and I purchased the size 5 for myself because it just fits perfectly on this finger and I just wanted to have the option of wearing it on different fingers that's why I'm gonna keep both of them because I absolutely actually really love this design of it and as I said one thing that really bothers me is the fact that it's not real gold and probably will get ruined um but yeah, i'm gonna try to not wa wash my hands with it or like not uh put too much lotion on my hand when i have it on but yeah i just want to let you guys know that the size 5 arrived and i absolutely love 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 it i don't know about you guys but i really like to like add a little bit of this tortilla chip not this one specifically but any tortilla chips to my um soup it just feels a little bit crunchy so i am going to add a little bit in there i'm actually going to close up this vlog here i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and i will see you guys on my next video bye